Oh. Do y'all deserve me unwrapping the candles that she... I didn't even know she wrapped them before. Y'all, she wrapped my candle. Now, this is luxury right here. This is luxury. This, this, is what I, this is what I'm talking about right here. So, they wrap... Let me move this out the way. Y'all got to see this. Okay, they... Are... <laughs> y'all ain't never had no candles wrapped, did y'all? <laughs> y'all ain't never had no candles wrapped, did y'all? <laughs> Welcome back. I was up earlier, but I just officially woke, which I'm trying to wake all the way up um, because I, I need to go somewhere, but clearly you can see I'm still very tired. Um, I'm going to this Galentine's Day event. Um, you guys will probably be seeing this pretty late, but um, it's February 13th right now. Um, I'm gonna go to this Valentine's Day event where I know a few vendors that are selling their things. Um, I mentioned them in an earlier video. Two two, and I know Deja is gonna be there. There, um, Deja has the lip gloss, and Two Two has like the fur, fur slides, and all that kind of stuff. And there's gonna be <clears throat> other vendors as well. Um, so I'm excited about that. I want to go see some new things see some new products and stuff like that um i definitely want to buy deja's lip oil and i just want to see what other people have to offer last night i actually bought like body butter body oil i don't think i got a scrub oh i got butter oil soap and a wash i believe i think i got like six things and it was like 50 bucks but i don't care if somebody else is selling the same stuff i'm gonna buy more because i can never have too much body butter body oil and stuff so hopefully they have that because I want to get more. And then, um, yeah, so I'm just getting ready for that. Nothing too, too crazy. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to tell you guys, I got burned. Um, I got some laser burns. Actually, yeah. These are, they're actually kind of going away for the most part. That's why, like, don't be stressed if you can't see it. It's because they're pretty much going away. I've only had them for a little bit over a week, but they're from laser hair removal. Um, my laser hair removal journey has been a little stressful. This is not the first time I've been burned. Um, I went in and got a test done before I started with this company with another, unfortunately, black owned company. I wanted to go to someone black owned. I felt like they would know my skin better and I wouldn't get burned. And I was wrong. So I went there and I got um, a test spot done back here. I got a test spot done and it hurt, hurt like crazy. And at that time I didn't know laser wasn't supposed to hurt. So yeah, it hurt really bad. And um, and then of course I burned, woke up the, the next day. I saw like a little scar, it was black all over. I was really stressed, like I didn't know I didn't know what was going on like I was really and I was really frustrated actually because I'm like I went to black people because I'm like y'all should know black skin but that's what happened so then I kept looking around looking around trying to find another place and I didn't want a place that was going to force me to pay for all my treatments at once because what if I don't like this service what if it's painful what if I you know, don't have a good experience. Like, I don't want to have to deal with the refund, like, and going back and forth and stuff. Just let me pay per treatment. I kept looking, I kept looking, kept looking, kept looking, found another place. It was like, okay, come in, get your test spot done. And I was talking to this other place, this really big brand, where if I say their name, you'll definitely know them. But they were like, oh, you shouldn't even be going to a place that needs you to come in and do a test spot. They should already know what to do. If you're doing a test spot, you don't need to be. Look, there's nothing wrong with doing tests, okay? Not everyone's skin is exactly the same. And you can't assume just because this person is dark skin and this level works for them, that the next dark skin person, that level will work for them. But whatever, 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 whatever. 
I was still looking for places. I found another one. They was like, come in, do your test spot. Woo, 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 woo. Came in, did my test spot, made my appointment for so it, Everything went good. I had to wait like 24 or 48 hours to see if they burned me. Everything went amazing. I called the next day or two days later, booked my appointment to start my treatment. Um, Obviously, I started with my chin and everything's been good. I've done like four or five treatments with them. This was probably about the fifth. This is the first time I had to tell the girl to stop lasering me twice because it was so hot and I didn't understand what was going on. And because it normally does not hurt. Because if you know anything about laser, they're lasering the hair. So it's not supposed to hurt because you shaved before. Or oh, whatever, 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 whatever. So... It was hurting. It was to the point when I left, I had to get like a cold ice bottle to put on my, um, to put on my face. I was in pain, y'all. I was in pain. So I knew right then and there something was going on. So I let it go. Didn't see anything the first day. The next day I woke up, scars had started to come in. It was really light though. So I wasn't still stressing. By Sunday morning, black circles, bad. Like it's really bad. I'll insert some pictures and videos because I definitely did take some. And then I contacted the salon just to let them know i contacted them to let them know that i received services from them and you guys burned me or whatever very apologetic they were so upset they didn't understand like how that could possibly happen because i had already been going sorry i dropped something because i because because i had already been going to them for so long is this distracting is this open? Yeah, so, um, because I had already been going to them for so long, like, they didn't, they didn't understand how that could happen. And I didn't understand either because y'all should know in my chart what to do. So, with Wooty Woo Wooty Woo, they were like, email pictures to this, to the email, and our owner will see it. Owner saw it, because I did it right in there. Owner saw it, he called me 10, 15 minutes later, super apologetic, like, I'm so sorry, I can't believe this happened, like, what can we do for you, what can we do? And then he was telling me all the things I should buy and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, okay, cool. I bought them the next day. I gave I, I gave myself a little time to calm down, because you know, it is your face. And my um skin was burned. I didn't even do my eyebrows, ugh. And my skin was burned. Or whatever. I just get so excited. I just want to put stuff on my eyes. Let me stop and do my eyebrows real quick. My skin was burned. Or whatever. So, whatever. I ordered what he told me to order on Amazon because I did not have time to go and stop in the store and buy it. Or whatever. It was going to be delivered the next day. I was like, okay. So, then I texted him. I was like, hey, is this correct? He was like, yes, that's correct. But could you just come in, come into the office? And I was like, sure, but why? And he was like, I want to see it in person. We'll do, we'll do, we'll. We went back and forth. We figured out a good time. I went in that Monday evening. Um, after, mind you, I got my appointment. And then on Friday, I went in Monday. He was like, you could tell he was nervous when he saw me. He was like, oh, shit. She black. She about to flip shit. Which I had the right to, but I didn't. So he was like, oh my gosh, thank you for being so nice and so polite when this stuff happens, which it doesn't happen often. Uh, people get so angry and they get so upset and stuff and they start demanding things. I'm so happy that you're polite and stuff like that. Woo -woo -woo -woo. I was like, yeah, you thought I was about to be real hood rap and come in here and fuck everybody day up. That's what you thought. But no, babe, I'm not on that type of time. I'm pretty chill or whatever. So, yeah. So, we're talking. We're going over everything and stuff like that. What happened? So, he gives me this cream. And um, he was like, okay, I'm going to put it on you so I can show you how to do it. And there's two creams. Mix them together. And I was like, okay, cool. No problem. So, Puts the creams on, I immediately start to feel better because my skin is super dry. I don't know if you guys ever been burned, but my skin was super dry and it was cracking and stuff like that. It was so bad. And um, as soon as he put it on, I felt like an re instant relief. So I was like, okay, cool. So the first cream he gave me uh, was, I ain't even about to try to pronounce that, is this. And it comes on the tube just like this. And he was like, put a little bit on, but, you know, put a thick layer, but you only need a little bit. He gave me this, and he gave me this. 
skin does. And I got my nails done, y'all. <laughs> Um, and he gave me this. So this this was the what was in there, and then let me show y'all my nails dirty now. Look at my nails. Yes. Um. So yes. Yeah, so. Um. He gave me those two creams, mix them together. I use them together. Woo woo woo. Literally, first couple of days, the dead um the burnt part started to burn off like everything was good no problems no issues like everything was good started to heal or whatever so at the office he was like since you're so polite you're so nice i'll give you what do you want and i was like well i was about to start my underarms which is true like my next session i was going to start my underarms and um he was like okay we'll give you five sessions of underarms for free i was like because at first on the phone, like in our text messages, he only said that he would give um, me like two chin sessions for free, which I was like, okay, cool. But um, I definitely think I should be compensated a little bit more. Like my face is like burnt up, you know? So then I'm happy he came through. And normally you need about six to eight sessions to really see results. To really, yes, to really see adult results. So five free sessions with my underarms, you know. That's by the time I finish with that, I'm gonna be almost done. I've only had to pay for like a few out of pocket or whatever. Don't mind me, y'all. I'm really not good with eyebrows. Um, yeah, so I was like, okay, cool. Then I'll take my little free sessions or whatever. But yeah, so that's what happened. So now I'm healing up because I actually didn't want to go nowhere because of that. But I was like, you know what? All the dead, the, the burnt skin had already fallen off. So I was like, I could go because I know I can cover this up easily with some makeup. So that's why I'm getting ready right now to go to this little event. And I'm excited. I hope I get put onto some new brands or whatever. I didn't look to see who all was going to be there. But, and also, I accidentally in the shower yesterday, I broke. My earrings the necklace, I know. I know, it's so hard. I broke my earrings necklace. So I'm hoping, and I was just going to order another one. But I was like, you know what? Let me wait. Let me see if somebody here today is going to be like selling charms or like little necklaces or stuff like that. Or like, you know, anything. And I was like, let me wait. Because I was damn sure I was about to order that last night. Because... I was never a big jewelry wearing person, but as I got older and stuff like that, I, I started to like to wear um, something around my neck all the time. So yeah, I'm excited to see what's there. So basically, I'm gonna finish doing my makeup and I'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit later. Hopefully I can record inside of there. It's not like too, too crazy. So I can show y'all what's there, show you guys my friend's products and stuff like that and show y'all what else they have to offer? Offer. But yes, I'm gonna just finish my makeup and then we'll get to it, y'all. I just got here, y'all. I hope y'all can hear me. Cause um every time I come to Long Beach, I gotta fight for a parking spot. But um this place had like a parking lot, so it was easier. But I went and like drove around because I saw a spot when I had first came in, but I ain't want to park by the trash can or whatever. But um there was no more parking spot, so I came right back over here and parked by this good old trash can. And it's close to the entrance, too, but yeah. But I think it's right behind me or whatever. It look cute. It's not too loud. And it don't look too packed, because that's what I was worried about, too, because I haven't really did anything, any big events since, you know, this this parallelogram that we going through, okay? I haven't done anything too crazy, so I was kind of, you know, nervous or whatever. But I see a candle person, like almost like inside outside type thing. I forgot I actually do want some candles. I want to, and I need to go to like candle spot to always get my candles for my love candles. I love having company over, and then they be like, "Oh, your house smells so good." <laughs> Jesus, don't expose me, Lord. Don't expose me. Yeah, so, yes. And I did not curl this hair, y'all. I'm still kind of tired. I'm waking up a little bit, but I'm a little tired. So, yeah. And the whole time I was driving, 
I had a freaking hair in my face. In my eye, actually, and it was so freaking annoying. So, yeah. I'm excited. This is about to be cute. I hope I find some good stuff. So, remind me, y'all. I want to get some lip oil. I'm going to look at the candles. And I was about to put lip gloss on. Damn, I can't even do that. Um, I want lip oil. I want candles. And if I find some more a good body butter, body oil, moisturizing type soap place, I need it. Okay? And, so she, and these are all like la vendors and stuff like that so this could be a a good connect because then i could pop up on them when i need supplies i ain't got to order online because the 50 dollars that i spent before was a place online now granted their shipping is pretty quick mind you their shipping was 11 dollars. last time i ordered from them their shipping was five dollars who needs 11 dollars to ship let me tell you i ordered yesterday if my shit not here by tuesday i'm gonna have a problem because what am i paying 11 dollars for for shipping i ship out stuff i know it don't cost 11 dollars and stuff like that i thought that was weird but i love their products and it was cheap and they sent me a discount code so it kind of evened out because y'all was really trying me fucking 10.99 for shipping but so yeah but it's all right hopefully i find a bomb dupe or well, a bomb alternative that's in los angeles so i don't have to pay for shipping but yeah so and I'm not wearing nothing crazy. I got I gotta push my bra. Like none of my bras fit. So I have like I'm down to like five or six good bras. And I don't my strapless one, it just don't fit at all. And I don't want to buy any more bras because I'm gonna um get my boobs done. So I just don't want to because I'm gonna be getting new bras again. Like none of my clothes fit, none of my bras fit, nothing fits. So yeah, damn, do I want to throw a jacket on? Is it cold? No, I think I think I'm gonna just wear this. All right, y'all, let's go. Let's see what the, let's see what shit. Damn, what mask do? <gasps> nah, that's head ass. Cause I gotta I gotta let her mask. Like I, that's head ass. I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna just put on my good old my good old mask, my white one. I'm gonna bring my keys and my purse. I really wanna put on sunglasses, but. We gonna be at size, so you know I ain't gonna be that. You be that person. But let's go do this, y'all. Y'all ready? Okay. What time is it? Three forty-three. And it's over at five. It started at one. So hopefully, I didn't miss everything. Hopefully, I can still get some stuff. Oh my god, I hate putting a mask on over makeup. Oh my gosh. All right, let's do this, y'all. I hope y'all can hear me um, when I'm in there. But if y'all can't. I'll either do a voiceover or, you know, probably just speed through, probably put some text so y'all know what it is. But, you know, we'll see y'all. <laughs> looking for a good black owned candle company that I can buy on the regular and I'm so hyped and then this I didn't know I needed it but I'm buying it <laughs> yeah. room and linen spritzers I'm with it I smelled it around the corner the first one I smelled was mango sunrise that's definitely coming with me so yeah y'all her link is going to be in the description. 
I'm excited. I'm about to smell some more and then I'll give you guys a good review. I think I'm gonna buy, she got four for 40, so I'm probably gonna leave with that. So you guys, this is the truck. I'm getting two candles and a spray. They smell so good. I'm definitely gonna put their link in my description. Check them out for sure. They are super cute and they smell so good. So y'all already know how I feel about my nails. I'm every three weeks shorty. So I had to come stop at the nail cart. She has these bomb press-ons. And I know sometimes the nail salons are still closed because we're in this parallelogram. okay? You know, we can't say the other word. <laughs> yes, so make sure y'all check out her press-ons. So do you mind no, being a video? I'm okay. Fine. So what is the name of your shop? This is IGL Nails. It says where it's a golden lifestyle nails. Oh, that's cute. Thank you. I like that. Every kit is 24 to 28 nails. It comes with the mini manicure kit, the glue, the blue tabs, everything you need to literally take your nails, go put them on and be done. They last 14 days. And yeah, these are better than CVS, Walgreens, Target, black owned. I'm currently being put in all of the black owned beauty supplies Woo! right now. So you can find me at Texture Tech in Carson if you want to pick something up real quick. Yes. And yeah, this is it. Yes, I'm so here for it. We're definitely, definitely supporting. I'm so, first of all, I'm gonna step back for this logo though. Y'all know I love a good logo and professionalism, okay? Look at the cart, y'all. It's the professional for me. I love it. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> So all the information will definitely be in my description. Please check her out and she will definitely be on my Instagram as well. So yes, come shop y'all. Y'all she getting me right. Micro influencers. Yes, thank you. I, I get it. Thank you. Y'all she getting me together to get my kit. I'm telling you this, people just throw this stuff away. If you don't prep your nails properly, Say it. That's why they don't stick. That's you exactly have to buff why. it. Girl, girl, she putting it. Look at the box. It's the marketing for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the professionalism for me. I love it. Y'all know I love packaging. I love it. But yes, you have to like buff your nails, use the alcohol wipes, remove all the oil to make sure your press on nails stay on the entire time. I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your nails. You're going to love them. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so we're back in the candle booth. Definitely already my favorite, okay? So we're here with the owner. Tina Renee. Yes. <laughs> so how did you guys start? We started back in 2017 just making candles as a hobby. Ooh. And then in 2020, we took it local. Okay, I like that. I like yes. that. So she has a bunch of different scents. We can find you on Instagram where? Absolutely. At Whiffs on Will. W-H-I-F-F-S on will and of course i'm not gonna leave y'all hanging y'all will not have to look too far it will be in the description okay i already love them i'm gonna burn them and i'm gonna do a burn test and honest reviews only okay yes. i'm excited thank you thank oh you. and y'all don't forget these okay as soon as i walked in i was like whatever you just sprayed yes. run it up okay <laughs> yeah Woo. okay y'all oh my god look at inside of my mask jesus oh gosh so I just, like, well, like, I'm still, hold on, still in the parking lot, y'all, of this Galentine's Day event. It actually was way more fun than what I thought. It was so cute. I'm definitely going to be a part of the next one. And, like, so I'm going to give y'all the perspective of, like, somebody that just came to, you know, visit. And then, you know, I'll do the vendor perspective. She's doing this again in May. So I'm definitely going to sign up and, si and sell my stuff. So I'm going to... I was gonna go home and like do this for real for real but i'm gonna just show y'all what i bought because one i'm so hyped i found a couple brands that i know i'm gonna fuck with for a very long time and oh y'all my hair look a mess oh and it was some cute dudes in here too i was like <laughs> they was cute okay but i'm sorry that's not why we're here that's not why we're here so of course i went to the event in two two slides okay y'all don't judge me they're a little dirty and she was like oh girl i got these in your size you want these and of course i can't i can't say no so i bought these and i actually ended up changing and then she was like oh girl i got another pair in your size too here you can have these for free so tutu is the goat okay at this point i can do a try on haul with all her all the first slides okay let me close this door so we can cut out some of that outside noise okay but yeah tutu is the goat 
y'all already know link gonna be in the description go buy you some first slides go buy whatever new stuff she's dropping she was just telling me all this new stuff she's about to come out with y'all make sure y'all go support my girl because as a people as a community we need to stick together all year round not just in black history month not just because the police brutality injustice all that kind of stuff no we just need to commute come together as a community and support each other and that's just on period okay thank you but let me show you what else i got so i've been looking for these onesies, onesies for a second i wanted just some cute onesies and this is the first company i saw that just had 2xl on hand so i got these i got some onesies so they're mad cute they got lips on them it's so cute y'all see so i got this one and then i got another pair i mean another one this is just like a black one with some white hearts on it i'm excited so those would be cute and then oh oh it's a chocolate cover rice crispy see i love you know going with the theme you know that's cute because it was called Valentine's day event or whatever because valentine's day is tomorrow so it was cute and then actually i need to shout out that owner so these my onesies are for oh hustle onesie i love it one onesie hustle.com onesie hustle.com um it's the ig is um onesie underscore hustle or whatever but link is gonna be in the description so the onesies they go up to they had a 2x here i don't know if they go bigger but they had you know all the sizes small medium large 2x i'm excited about that honey all right and then what else did i get i got so much stuff okay so just i can never control myself when i go to places i just buy everything i like so this is from yoni pink passion um she has yoni steams yoni pearls body sculpting wedding parties um yoni oil and more and their instagram is yoni pink passion facebook yoni pink passion and so is their twitter logo everything so cute is gonna be in the description i wanted a good cooter wash anyway a new one i like the one that i use honey pot like consistently i consistently i'm sorry i use their pads too but you know it's, it's okay you want to try out some new ones and i like i've never tried a yoni oil so i'm excited about that so this is her yoni foaming wash yoni foamy wash foaming wash and then this is really what got me the oil baby i just want to put oil on my cat like <laughs> so i'm excited about that oh it can be used as a sex lubricant during intercourse oh don't need that okay that's why i bring water to the beach baby okay got that splat no nope. <laughs> yo i'm annoying oh but vaginal tightening and vagina oh, oh look okay a bitch about to have a new coochie i'm about to have a new coochie okay <laughs> i'm excited <laughs> link gonna be in the description y'all i'm excited yoni products i literally came and got almost everything i wanted a necklace there was a necklace um company here but they did not have a k but i'm gonna reach out to them actually let me see i this is the person who actually is running it i have her i still got her business card um she set this up i believe it's her name is jennifer thompson jenny's boutique jenny jenny t boutique i'm sorry um and then her instagram is jenny t boutique as well facebook and instagram this is the person who actually put the event together shout out to you build the platform when you get there put other people on give people the option to share their talents as well so i love that so i'm definitely going to reach out to them because they have these this cute k necklace and these cute k anklets but I did, they didn't have them in stock today, which is cool because that I was still able to, you know, see them. So I definitely will be reaching out because I want those. All right, next, my girl, okay, Deja Glossy Ho. Y'all already know this ain't the first time I mentioned her. Um, I got my lashes, okay. She didn't bring um lip oils today, but um she has them, and I'm going to have her. I'm gonna order some lip oils because that's what I need. So today I just got more lashes because she sells lashes as well. The style that I got is called that beach, and look, Tutu actually had these on sold okay <laughs> and then so she put it in this cute little package with um the tool to help put it on a spoolie brush and of course her business card glossy ho link will be in the description of course because 
I shares with my knowledge, okay? I shares it. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. This is the Honey Ave Boutique First Slide 2-2. This is her company, her business card. All the information is going to be in the description. Okay, what else do I have? I am starving, though, okay? And that is on Mary Had a Little Lamb, honey. I am hungry. Mm, I'm freaking hungry. Okay, so... So this is probably one of the first things I tried when I got in there because I was looking, like I said, y'all, I wanted some more body butter. Um, so this is B Crowned Beauties. Um, B Crown B Crown Beauty dot uh, uh, B Crown Beauty on Instagram. Such a freaking cute logo, business card, all that kind of good stuff. And th this hoe smells so good. What smell? Damn. I spiced. Island spice or something. Oh, I don't remember. But that, that, oh, it smells so freaking good. And I, I put that on when I first got here. My hands just still feel amazing. They're super soft. The smell is really good. And I think, oh, it was sea moss. Sea moss. I think she said she put in here. So extra hydration, hydration, extra minerals, all that kind of yum 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 good stuff. Okay. So I'm excited about this. That's definitely going. Oh, that's probably gonna go all over my body tonight. Actually, after a good scrub down. So I'm excited about that. Another company that was there, um, you guys saw me shout it out. It was IGL Nails, Press On Fashion. First of all, it's the branding for me. Look how cute this is. I love that. She put everything in here. Oh, and she also gave me this mask that I actually need to keep right here because we still in this parallelogram. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to open this. Okay. So she gave me these press on nails. They're so freaking cute. They're so adorable. She even made sure that they could fit for me or whatever. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at Contagia Smith. I mean, sorry, at It's Contagia to see these because I will open these for you and try them on. And I'll probably do a little try on haul. I have some ideas for press on nails because, you know, she saw how my nails from far away. She was like, your nails are so fire. Like... I know you like nails. Come over here. Let me hook you up. And she and she did just that. And then she gave me my kit. You guys have to prep your nails properly for your press ons to stay. But yeah, all the information is gonna be in the description. So what else I got? What else I got? Oh, sorry. Here we go. This is her thank you card. Thank you for shopping with us and all that kind of stuff. IGLnails.com. IGL nails is on Instagram and Facebook as well, baby check them out check it out check it out check it out check it out okay i got two more okay so this is first of all this is so freaking cute this is her business card it looks like it, she just did the instagram thing which is so freaking cute and then she got the instagram logo on the back it's so cute so this is at butter underscore cosmetics um let me show y'all this is really what got me i was walking by and i was like what is this this little tool y'all this little tool is a lip scrubber so i had to buy it y'all and then um she has lip scrub and then i got the blueberry scent y'all know i'm about to smell it y'all know i'm about to smell it it's the scent for me Mm, I'm excited. I love a good lip scrub. You know, my lips is too big to be peeling and cracking ashy and all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited about that. And then I told myself I can't buy no more lip gloss because I have so much freaking lip gloss. But I ain't saying nothing about lip pencils. Okay. So I got this cute, cute, cute. It's it's the packaging for me. Okay. It's the packaging. All right. So I wanted a dark color. Um, I asked for brown. Oh, yes. Oh, this is cute. So this is... I'm excited, y'all. Look, that's one stroke. Oh, it's a look. I'm about to give y'all the best ombre lip that you ever did see, okay? I'm excited. Butter Cosmetics, baby. I'm excited. I'm actually really excited about that lip scrub. I might actually do a second video, like, really testing these out because I don't want this video to be way too, too long. But, yeah, and then, y'all, I'm sorry. I don't like to do favoritism, but... I do. My favorite stop of the day, baby. The candles, okay? <laughs> I was looking for candles. I was looking for candles, honey. So, first of all, I'm pretty sure 
I'm pretty sure her name. Okay, so it's just Tina Renee. Okay, because um, Tina Renee. Oh, what is it? Whiffs. Okay, that's what it is. It's called Whiffs on Wheels, baby. Whiffs on Wheels. And um, y'all, these candles smell amazing. I wish I could. I wish y'all could smell it through the screen. One, walking into their little um thing, it just oh. Do y'all deserve me unwrapping the candles that she... I didn't even know she wrapped them before. Y'all, she wrapped my candle. Now, this is luxury right here. This is luxury. This, this is what I'm This is what i talking about right here. So, they wrap... Let me move this out the way. Y'all got to see this. Okay, they... <laughs> y'all ain't never had no candles wrapped, did y'all? <laughs> y'all ain't never had no candles wrapped, did y'all? Okay. Oh, yes. This is the first one I smelled when I walked in there. And I was like, ring it up ring it up i need this so this is mango sunrise baby I just, she put a whole mango in here i saw her do it i saw like i saw her myself she did that like she put the it y'all do she shit worldwide i want <laughs> i want y'all to really be like yo this smells so freaking good she about to have all my money and she not even crazy price what was it the candles was one for did she have prices i want to say one candle was 12 dollars. i think i paid two for 20 that's what i had because i ended up getting two candles two for 20 but i wanted to get four for 40 but i was just i was just overwhelmed because everything smelled good and i knew i was not gonna leave but oh best believe she's gonna hear from me okay she's gonna know my name okay i'm gonna have ugh, they all smell so good okay so this y'all want me to unwrap it again y'all want me to do it slow y'all y'all want me to unwrap it y'all want me to unwrap it look at that Y'all ain't never had a candle wrap like this. Okay, so this is called Out of the Office. I am addicted to the smell of fabric dryer sheets. This, as soon as I opened it, it smelled like I just did all of my laundry. Okay, I, oh, I'm so hyped. I'm so geeked. I'm so happy. This is like, th th this is it for me. I love it. So then she also has something called a linen. I believe it's called linen mist linen mist and when i walked in that's what the smell like that's what was really because she didn't have no candles burning so this is what she was spraying in the air y'all so this one got a sticker on it so i can't you know roll her oh yes i can <laughs> roll it out oh my god it's the packaging for me it's everything it's hold on how i do this to open hold on y'all i'm a little oh ooh, i think that's what oh fancy you know i ain't used to the fancy stuff Oh, yes, there we go. Y'all. Oh, my house is about to smell so good. Good. So it's it's them for me. Okay, let me make sure y'all got the information. But link will be in um in the description, y'all. Um whiffs on wheels. Whiffs on wheels is the perfect addition to any festival event. Yes, it is. Like, so they can pull up, y'all saw earlier they'll pull up they bring their little truck thing and they sit outside and run it up okay run it up support them because i'm gonna do a burn test to make sure it burns clean and it's nice and all that kind of stuff but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be happy with it because the smells is already a winner baby okay so yeah so i'm very excited i definitely spent um a good little penny but it was definitely worth it i spent it in my community with people who black owned businesses where we work very hard all year round and we don't always get the recognition that we deserve so i'm happy events like this exist so we can come learn from each other build with each other share our money with each other and i'm so happy clearly did i show y'all this i'm sorry let me just ask I think I did, but you know, just in case, this is the press on nail lady. Yeah, I did show this, but I just want to make sure y'all. But yes, honey, that's it. I don't want this video to be crazy, crazy long, but so support black, okay? Because we, because we do that, okay? We did that. We are that. It's in us. So yeah, that's it for this video, y'all. Um, this was a success. I'm so happy I came out in this parallelogram. I am starving. I'm about to go find two, two, say bye. Find Deja, stay by. And I'm going to go get me some food. And then I got one more thing I need to do. And then I'm getting in the bed, shorty. Because y'all know I like to get in the bed. But yeah, bye.